This time on Roadkill, we drive this thing all the way across the desert to meet with all our friends here at EBC Brakes. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Is that all you got? This time we decided to do something really different. Finnegan was gonna pick our road trip without me knowing anything about it, and I was gonna buy the car without him knowing anything about it. So the first thing I did was hit the Pomona swap meet here in Southern California. I couldn't decide what to do. I looked at some old 50s clapped out cars. I looked at some cool military 4x4s. I really wanted this stoner van, but finally I settled on something that we had never had before and will probably never have again. Yep. That is a 1980 Chevy Monte Carlo Lowrider. We're talking full on hydraulic, six switches, this thing hops, it's three wheels, it's green, and it's got brutal 3.8 liter V6 power. It's about a week later and I have acquired the vehicle. I brought it here to a buddy's garage so that we can sort of hide it and reveal it to Finnegan in a few minutes, but I've already broken the car and already made a mess on the floor. So roadkill has begun. I am thinking that Finnegan is presuming that I bought a 4x4 because I'm always pushing him to do 4x4 road kills because I'm into that stuff and he's not really into it at all. He probably thinks I bought a Jeep and so he's probably trying to plan a trip that has nothing to do with Jeeping. Then there's the worst case scenario that he figured out that I wouldn't buy a 4x4 because that's too predictable and so he has planned an off-road trip. We've talked a lot about doing LA to Vegas completely on dirt and if he's picked that, this is gonna be epic. Morning. I'm looking forward to this more than anything we've done in a long time. It's gonna be awesome. I can't see. I don't think there's any chance you're expecting this. I, and I have no idea what you've planned, legitimately. Is it a go-kart? Uh, no. Bumper cars? No. <laughs> oh. Open it, dude, I can't wait. This is like waiting for Christmas. Oh no, you gotta tell me first. Oh, tell I gotta me tell what you. We're doing. Oh, okay, so I figured, you know, your, your first inclination is always to go off-road. I knew that's what you were you, gonna you, think. You are always, you always into that, so. So you figured that I wouldn't get a Jeep because you knew that, and so you planned an off-road trip. Right. Awesome! We're, we're gonna do something <laughs> we've always wanted to do. Okay. We're gonna drive to Vegas on dirt, because. I knew it! This is gonna be so. <laughs> Open it, come on, this is killing me. Open it. Your ass is gonna bleed. <laughs> this is worse than the Jeep? Yes. I bought this only for this gag. I had no intention of actually driving this thing anywhere. And now we have to. Yeah. Off-road. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh. Sadly, I know how to work one of these. Oh my god. Uh, did you see it coming? No. <laughs> I already no. broke it. You were hopping it and you blew a line? Yes. We can fix that. I know how to fix these. Wait, they don't sell these to white people. How'd you get this? <laughs> oh, can you imagine how many batteries? Of torture? 10, 12, 16. Oh, all of them. We got a whammy tank, two pumps plumbed together. What do we got going on? You actually know how to deal with this? Oh yeah, oh, I've that installed takes the fun this. out of it. I'm not embarrassed to say I've installed hydraulics. Oh, you should look at the rear suspension. I don't think you've installed this. I've uh, I've had hydraulics on my first mini truck. Yeah. Second mini truck actually. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> These are good batteries. Yep, those That's are like the pro batteries. Not a good subwoofer. Two pumps, no. <laughs> Dude, it's 1988 <laughs> all over again. Uh, well, I probably blew the line from over pressurizing it. There's no pressure cutoff switch, I'm guessing. Wow, Wait this thing's till you serious. Ride they plated the frame? Oh yeah, it's completely jump ready. And see the ball on the axle so that it can actually three wheel? Yeah, they that's welded what, the cup right to the axle. That's what I was trying to do when I blew the line was three wheel it for the reveal. <laughs> you know what we can do though? We can jack this thing all the way up and put off-road tires on it. Yeah, but that's not nearly as funny as Look at the front tires. We're gonna kill these things every like 10 miles on the way out there on pavement. Yeah, but if Lolo's can do it, why can't we do it? Okay, because we've had so much success with this motor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It's a Buick V6, not a Chevy yeah, V6. Yeah, it's got a distributor in the front. Yeah. This is good for hopping. Yeah. This is a safe automobile. 
We know that it will three-wheel. The guy said it does it better when it's driving, but you can pick it up and make it do it. <laughs> can we put off-road tires on it, or you're not allowing it? I don't care what we do. I'm just happy to be a part of this. <laughs> oh, that is gnarly! We're not making it. <laughs> hey, dude, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like I'm driving across the Bay Bridge and the cables are snapping. Yeah. Oh, I got it. Watch this. There you go. Do we have liftoff? Yes, we do. It'll go higher. There you go. Oh, wait, let me, let me try some more. There we go. He said it'll drive down the street like that, no problem. This is amazing. Oh, you know what? This is gonna make it a lot easier to fix this oil spill. This is why we borrow people's garages rather than use our own. Oh yeah, my wife would never stand for this. Yeah. Oh, I have to show you something before we get started. Open the hood. Broken motor mount, is that what's about to happen? Oh, it's worse than that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it even connected to the transmission? Oh, is that horrible? That slid forward three inches. Right, it's the drive shaft cramming into the transmission when the rear end comes forward. Yeah. Or it might not make it. Right. I know. <laughs> we better just jump this off a cliff because I don't know if we're going to get all the way to Vegas. Oh, it's pretty bad. What happened to the keys? Did we lock them in the trunk? <laughs> Maybe. That's about how good this trip's going to go. These are special hydraulic hoses with crimp fittings on them. It's not the kind of thing you can easily assemble with hand tools. And they're designed for very high pressure. Let's see what the rating is on this deal. 5,000 PSI. Okay, there is a bolt through the slip yoke on the drive shaft to prevent it from fully bottoming in the transmission. That's good. Once we had the new hydraulic lines in place, we threaded them onto the rams and also to the pumps, and then we had to fill up the reservoir with hydraulic fluid. After that, you connect this big old welding cable, which connects all eight batteries together, so you get 96 volts, which is apparently what it takes to hop this turd. Wanna hop it? <laughs> oh, what just blew? There's fire. Now it's locked. <laughs> Get the key. So this is what low riding's all about. Yeah. Uh. Other one. <laughs> no rush. Not the square one. The other round one. The other round. Oh. Why is there two <laughs> round ones? <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, it's major fire, dude. Look at the smoke in here. Wow, it burnt out the rear bearing cap. So we need to go buy a hydraulic shop and buy a new motor for this pump. We hadn't even left the garage yet and we've broken it twice. First those hydraulic lines and second burning up that motor. So next, we're gonna drive this thing over to Finnegan's shop to get it fixed, but I don't even know if the tires are gonna make it that far. The front end alignment on this thing is so bad. Oh, 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 oh. oh this is gonna be horrible on the dirt. All right, great. Oh, we're dead. The freeway is gonna feel like jail. Okay, did you see that? <laughs> That's why they say low rider or go a little slower. Whoops. Okay, good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I got no steering now. Uh-oh. Fix this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there we go, got it back. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> oh, not good. The guys at Lowrider Magazine hooked us up with Hoppos in Ontario, California, and they sold us some competition motors for our hydraulic pumps. And we installed them and immediately had to figure out how to hop this thing. Hey, hop, yo. You think the back should come up to make it hop? I think there's more leverage if the back's down. Okay. But what the hell do I know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Hop it! Oh, oh three-wheeling! Yeah. Dude! Is it off? Oh, yeah. Figure it out, white boy. Hold on. Neutral's the key. Yeah, you definitely don't want it in park. Brakes. 
You're rolling backwards. <laughs> You're. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> I can't even hold on to the switch. <laughs> There's one button in here. That's awesome. <laughs> I may have to lay down when I do this. Oh. <laughs> the hood's popping open. The turn signal's on. <laughs> Dude, get in there. Get in here and hit the third one from the left. I'm not getting in there. <laughs> it's awesome. This isn't the kind of car you take home to mom and park in her driveway. Because it leaks. Unless you hate your mom. We put less than 30 miles on the car yesterday and we already trashed the tires. These are 13 inch wire wheels that are held on with a massive center nut. They mount right to the spindle and we've got a special tool to get them off, but we have no clue how this thing works. Wow. This is going to be a hell of a day. <laughs> the wheels broke the hammer. <laughs> there you go. This time on road kill, 45 minutes of nothing but putting on tires. Oh, dude. Wow. That worked. Like new. Wait, is that the key? You don't actually put the tool all the way on? That's the key. Get out. Don't actually put the tool all the way on. It works. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Little rider owners everywhere were laughing at us. Yes, for, they have How long did that take? 10, 15 uh, days? Wow. I'd like to be embarrassed that I didn't know that, but I really am not shamed at all. Screw you for trying to do it right. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. By this time we figured out that we are not going to get all the way from Los Angeles to Las Vegas on dirt and so we're going to hit the desert at State Line and get as far into Nevada as we can. Ready? Ready? And go! Oh! Wow! <laughs> I thought we were going! <laughs> I now understand why they do this. <laughs> Did you see me flinch when it's ready to go? It was like when a Jeep rolled. Oh, okay, you ready? This is gonna get violent. Okay, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 don't hit the car now. <laughs> oh, this is way better than I hoped. Oh! Did we blow a tire? I don't know, we're good. Oh no, the tire was rubbing us. Oh! <laughs> assessment on the car. Oh, this is the greatest car ever. Oh, dead. What's dragging on the ground? Oh, I see rubber coming oh, up. Oh, rubber is coming up big time. Oh, the rubber was just flying off that tire. <laughs> Let's go to the instant replay. Watch the tire as it goes from black sidewall to white wall to flat, all in about two minutes. So we were three wheeling and we're up on the side and I'm seeing chunks fly out the passenger window and we both thought it was rubber off the tire. It turns out we're digging into the asphalt. Damage assessment, ready? 
Yeah, that's rubber. Isn't oh, it? it's only rubber. Oh no, I feel. F oh, that is. Look, that's uh, the oh, top that's layer asphalt. of yeah. asphalt came off. I don't feel that bad about it. Look at the distance. I don't think we've compromised the road in any way, shape, or form. I have zero guilt. So we need to fix the tire. We have eight more. I'm noticing something though. What? We won't tear up asphalt if we three wheel on dirt. Oh, this is true. <laughs> Yeah, it's on fire. Well, our hopping days might be over. Don't go there, go on the other side where the oh. solenoids are connected together. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! What happened here is one of the cables got so hot with all these batteries that it melted the terminal right out of the end of one of the relays in the trunk. The cable hit ground, and I'm surprised we didn't burn this thing down. What we did do is disable the whole front hydraulic pump system. We were stuck in the full up position. It was gonna look stupid on the 13 inch Dayton's. So instead, we jacked up the back, and we give you The Monster Carlo. Okay. Do you think speed is our friend? We'll no. Just smooth it out? <laughs> as soon as I relax, you're gonna hit a ravine and kill me. I promise <laughs> I'll avoid them all. <laughs> straight or left? I don't know. Uh, I'd say straight. Okay. Yeah, because that's it. Oh, that goes a mirror. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold oh. on. Hold on. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, that was bad. That's what I was waiting for. <laughs> that hurt my neck. That took a little bit of the fun out of it. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Make motor noises. Cause oh. This... oh, did you feel the whole... I... Oh, did you feel the whole I felt thing? like suspension popping apart. What's happening now? Well, we have no power. Are you sure the rear end's not jack sideways or something? There you go. You were on the tire. Fixed. This is an adventure. Come on, Monster Carlo. Don't let us down. It just feels weird. It, it really oh. does. It feels like the whole bottom of the car is moving independently of the body. <laughs> yeah, totally. Good call on the tires. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How can that hurt so bad at such a low speed? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is just hilarious. I, we're idling, basically. I know. We're <laughs> Keep hitting the roof. I know. I'm like bracing myself on the seat <laughs> for the spinal compression, <laughs> whacking my skull on the floor. <laughs> I'm totally appreciating this headliner right now. Why'd we volunteer for this? Not real bright. <laughs> <laughs> what am I in a ditch or something? Oh, yeah, it's jacked. When you gas it, it's picking up the left front tire and digging that one in. Oh, it's sunk into that gravel. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know how you did that, but I don't either. How do you sink in rock? I don't know what happened. Try back it up. That's full throttle. Okay, don't dig it in. I'm rocking it. Why are you digging it in? Because it's fun. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> wait, wait, let's use the hydraulics. 
Can you? That's not going to help because I think the rear axle's down in the rocks now. I'm going to lift the back of the car up. Maybe that'll go do ahead. <laughs> Break that drive shaft. Let's go. <laughs> uh, might work actually. Really? Yeah. All right, I'll keep going then. Yeah! Lowrider power! No, 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 stop! <laughs> that was looking pretty good, but you got it. You had the front wheels turned, so okay. it's digging rather than driving. How about now? You can try it, but it's deeper in now. That's bad. Why? Because it sounds like the axle's on the ground now. The drive shaft's on the ground, but it just transferred the power to the other side. Wow. Yeah, you made that worse. I did. So our plan here is to lift the back end as high as we can on the hydraulics, and then set the body down on something really tall to release the weight off of this. But I think, you know what? The only thing that's gonna do is take weight off the tire and make it spin. Um, or are you thinking we're... Maybe that will pull the axle up with the hydraulics and we could shove the boards under the tire and get, oh, okay. get it up in the air, maybe? Yeah, I, or fill it in with rocks. Yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> Fairly useless. This is a plan with legs. <laughs> I'm not sure what that did. Can you get the board under further? That was the whole plan. Yeah, see, look at that. Way under there. That is pretty good. See? I have to admit, I hope the Dirt Everyday fans aren't watching this because they're going to tune out of that show and right into this every time. Fred's going to be embarrassed. All right, it's pulling the floor mat in. Floor mat's gone. Yeah, almost. Ah. There we go! Hydraulics for the win! And homeless Dave! So embarrassing. Ah. Some speed. Oh. 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 Don't get stuck again. Oh! 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 oh. Stop! <laughs> or I think our load is not secure. <laughs> Oops. Are we going to be stuck? Should I keep going? Well, you got to go up that hill right there, so you need to back up again. Oh. Oh, oh that's a back killer. I'm not hitting the switches. Okay, go for it. Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, um, we're dumb. <laughs> I think the windshield's been compromised. <laughs> He broke the windshield more. It's not just me. <laughs> what is happening here? This road is not bad. That was not the hydraulics. I did not hit switches. I know. A little bit of axle wrap. This thing's junk. <laughs> Dude, the windshield's broken in a million pieces now. And these straps are about to kill everybody. So now we're going to take off again and probably die again. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Are we stuck again? No, 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 I just stopped driving because it seemed dangerous. <laughs> yeah, that's our MO. You know us, safety first. <laughs> I can't oh, be oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Well, we did it. <laughs> Come on, girl. Oh, you just lost momentum. Come on, girl. 
Oh, this go is the on, moment. Go, oh. go, 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 Like butter. There you go. Go, 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 go. Yes. Uh, this is so stupid. Can't be stopped. This is it, the moment of failure. We only made it two miles on dirt and it was just so punishing that it took us six hours. So we gave up and hit the highway and rolled into Las Vegas because we had set up a party with a bunch of our fans at our sponsor's place, EBC Breaks in Las Vegas. People showed up from all over, Oregon, Washington, Texas, California. It was just a whole lot of fun and a good old school cruise in. The cops even came by and they were fans too. EBC gave away free breaks, we gave away t-shirts and stickers, and I got to do some hot laps with some roadkill fans. The best part about the meet and greet was the feedback. We found out the episodes they loved, the ones they hated, and what kind of beer they liked to drink. You're probably asking yourself, why did these guys do this? Well, the thing is, this is roadkill and we don't need a reason. But I can usually come up with one after the fact. First of all, you have never seen a lowrider on Super Swampers before, and now you can say that you have, and I've never experienced three-wheeling on hydraulics before, and that was a lot of fun. But why would we take it across the desert? Because roadkill. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? What, what you gonna, gonna do when they come for you? <laughs> That's not making a video. <laughs> Maybe outtakes. Check it out. Wow, dude. That's Chipotle too. It's not that good. <laughs> Come on, man, open the door. Is it electric? How do we make this happen? I bought this only for this gag. I had no intention of actually driving this thing anywhere. And now we have to. Yeah. Off road. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> open the door, damn it! Open the door. This is killing me. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> we don't have to shoot the rest of the show. Let's just bounce for another day. Three wheel. Oh god, hold on. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh! oh. <laughs> Don't break it again. <laughs> oh, this the is the most weird. fun car ever. <laughs> I'm only laughing because you're laughing. Which part is it? Is it this hitting your head? Is it the windshield it's falling the, out? The whole thing. <laughs> is it the wheel hop? Is it the fact we're still only a quarter mile from where we entered? There's where we slept last night, right there. There's a right and a straight. I don't know where to go. Uh, straight. There's the mortuary. I'd rather be in there than driving this thing. <laughs> I feel like there should be a, a certain soundtrack playing while we do this. Yes. Hopefully I was off tune enough that that was not a royalty violation. 